Thank you for joining us. It's been almost one year since the old downtown Des Moines Yonkers building was destroyed by fire. Now, one of the owners of a neighboring building is filing a lawsuit over the damage. KCCI's Kim Tate Ange has our top story. EMC Insurance has filed a lawsuit against the Yonkers builder owners and two construction companies that worked there just days before that massive fire broke out last March, leaving EMC with millions of dollars in damages. This nine page lawsuit EMC Insurance filed in December claims the Hansen Companies and the Alexander Company were involved in ultra hazardous and inherently dangerous construction activities during the days leading up to the fire. The lawsuit says in part these companies went against the advice of a professional security company and terminated services of a security company that had been patrolling the Yonkers building, all in complete and utter disregard to the safety of neighboring property owners, pedestrians, in the entire Des Moines community. Some of these activities include using several 1 million BTU heaters, blow torches, daily hot work, and allowing smoking throughout the complex after the sprinkler and alarm systems were disconnected. EMC requested a jury decide the fate of this case, which litigation uh, attorney like Matt Bull says is likely very so strategic. And they tend to be uh, more liberal in their decision making in terms of. Uh, punitive damages than a judge trying a case to a judge might be. The lawsuit did not mention a cause of the fire or how much EMC is asking for, but the estimated cost of damages to its building is $8 million. The numbers seem huge, but in relative terms, it's a, it's a uh, reasonable amount. Uh, to request for damages uh, to the structure of two buildings. Neither EMC nor Hanson companies would go on camera, but release statements saying, quote, we're unable to comment on this ongoing litigation. And a trial date has not yet been set, but under Iowa law, civil cases must be tried within 18 months of when that lawsuit was filed. And Bull says it's not out of the realm of possibility for this case to be settled out of court. Stacey? Thank you.